Ox. Whoa, it's that Ox Snapper. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. And as you can see, we are walking down the beach to get to the boat to go fish today. We're here staring at the Darien Lodge, which is right behind me. It's an absolutely beautiful lodge. Whoa, we got a little bit of surf breaking on the sand right now and that boat's gonna have to push over that wave. So that should be interesting. But the crew is already at the boat. Oh. It's kind of a big wave. I got the drone today, so I got to keep that safe. We got the hella dry dry bag with all the GoPros and the batteries. Oh my God, that wave is a little spooky. But as you guys, you're, 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 gonna, you're gonna watch this all go down. We got to go over this wave in this boat. So today is day two of fishing. Yesterday we caught a bunch of tuna and we're gonna try to go from sails and also fish the rocks and jig as well. Oh boy. That's kind of a big wave. We gotta go over. Oh gosh. I guess so. <laughs> Woo! Alright. I'm in. Oh, we're in the wet seat. Timing is everything. Go, 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 go! So this morning we're going to go ahead and catch some live bait because yesterday we saw a sailfish so if that happens again we are better prepared <laughs> and all we really need is like six seven eight really good baits right there so they're going to go ahead and drop down some more sabiki rigs yep 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 and see if they can't catch some more bait but it's the same type of bait that we have in florida which we call thread fins what's the spanish term for that bait is we there call it plumuda. Plumura. Plumura, which yeah. Plumura. It is like feathery. Okay. So they're thread fins or the greenies or white baits that we call back home in Florida. Nice. So half of us are throwing jigs and poppers toward the rocks, and then we have two live bait rods set out on the back of the boat, and Eric is hooked up to something good, it looks like. Yeah. <gasps> is it an AP? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, it's an African bomb. We're going to have one for dinner. We're going to release the other one. No need for oh that. Listen, African pompano carpaccio with capers, red onion, olive oil, and 
Sea salt, lemon. So We're doubled good. up. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. I'll be coming towards you. All right, you're good. <laughs> Sweet. Look, he's got like some stripes going on there. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> awesome. Look at that big old block of ice, though. Perfect size. baby Jack Curvel here on the casting Johnny jig. Look at him go. We're gonna keep fishing. We're looking for those African pompano again and if not a rooster fish. Right there. Is it rolling? It is rolling. Oh I don't even know if it was on me but it was pointing to the other side. Oh boy. So I just have a little Johnny Jigs casting jig on here and I was just tossing it up letting it sink down because we we caught one AP and hooked three, three chances, caught one AP and it was all on the bottom. So I was just letting the jig go deeper in the water. Drop that bed bait all the way down. So we'll see. I hope it's an AP. That would be really cool. Once you touch bottom, go up a little bit, but feel the bottom. We'll see. Oh yeah, it's a big it bump. Is. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I've never caught an AP on rod and reel. I've only speared them, so this is super cool. On the Johnny jig, too. Sweet. All right, here he is. Pampano. Pampano. African Pampano. All right, who wants to grab him? Yeah. Woohoo! Wow. That's a beautiful fish. Boy, that's so good. awesome. Oh, oh, my oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, you can get a double up. Check. Alright. Please, I don't want to take it in the hand. I really don't want to take it in the hand. Alright. This is I'm playing a dangerous game right now with this jig. Doubled up. Check him out. Don't don't. Alright, I'm not doing that. I don't want a jig in the hand, but heck yeah. Are we doubled up? Yeah. Another one? Sweet! Alright. The thing with jacks are, I mean, African pompanos aren't really type of jack, they're a pompano, but they're similar. Super, super hardy fish. So we released mine, got some photos, and then Eric caught another one, but it is a little, he swallowed that jig. So we're gonna go ahead and keep him because if we rip that jig out and release him, he probably won't make it. But AP, are great for grilling, sandwiches, and so good raw. So, delicioso. Let me see what you got here. A trigger fish on the Johnny jig. Let me see that thing. You want to put them in the fish tank? <laughs> right. Cute. The one, thing, the one thing I've noticed with APs is they tend to like fight hard in the beginning and then kind of like, eh, kind of give up a little bit, but. We'll see what this is. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bigger. 
I thought maybe the roof was finished, but we haven't seen him, so. Mm -hmm. Those are like, what are the responses or this? I think it's a big, maybe an African farm, but I don't know. We shall see. There we go. Oh, rocks. Whoa, it's that ox down there. That's a toad. That's a big boy right there. Look at his little nose, his little uh, nostrils oh, right there. Oh, oh, I think too much drag. Too much drag. Oh, no. So check out his little nostrils right here. You guys, so so I call I call these Mexican bard snapper because in Mexico we shoot them and we eat them and they're really good. Really? Here in Colombia they call them rock snapper, and I don't think you guys eat them. No, we have the perception. I mean, we eat them, but they're not the best. They're yeah. okay. They're tough, a little tough. Such a cool fish. That one's a big one. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at the hook. <laughs> look at the hook. I bent the hook. Oh my gosh. He made that into a real circle hook. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. The way to -hook Heck yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. You ready to let him go? Yeah. Ah! There he goes. That fish did not need much reviving. <laughs> So we're dropping jigs down at about 400 feet right now. I just hit bottom. Got a nice little bite. A little bit stronger of a bite than what we've been having. We'll see what it is. It still has a head shake, which is kind of crazy. He should be at the surface any minute now. There it is, I see color. And it's a Fargo nylon. Fargo nylon, big one. Fargo nylon. Fargo nylon. That's a skinny one. What? Let me see that thing. Is it now? Is that a blue line or is that a different, totally different species? Wow, that's so cool. And they're good to eat. Heck yeah. That's pretty cool. So earlier we were jigging on this bottom and tilefish love a muddy, muddy, sticky bottom. And you could tell the jigs just kind of like mucking in and out of the bottom. And I was asking Alberto if they catch tilefish here. And sure enough, Eric just caught a tilefish. Tomorrow we can bring an electric reel. Put around with that. What, do you have a Daiwa? Yeah, uh, 1200. Those are nice little electric. Otro Fargo! Otro Cabez! Yeah! 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 So on top of the nylons that we've been catching, we've been catching these guys. They just look like a scorpion fish, so we didn't want him. What'd you get, Eric? Uh, nylon. Nylon. Oh. It was bigger. Alright, you won. <laughs> Still have a head shake? Cherna! 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 Double love! Rupert oh and gosh. Snapper, that's a tasty, tasty minute and a half of your time. Can you reel this in real quick? I didn't get the fish on it. I talked on it real quick. You got it? I wonder if that first nibble that I got was the. Look at the that! Yeah. A double up! Wow! Look at it, looks like a little warsaw. What is that? What grouper? It's uh, yeah, uh, star -studded a star-studded grouper. Star-studded? Yeah. What? Well, that's so cool. So Chad just had some sinkers on with a piece of cut bait. He <laughs> got two fish. Two fish? Wait, how many hooks were on there? Two, yeah, but I think they're on the same. Oh, I see. He had a chicken rig on. So he had two hooks and two cut pieces of bait. How cool is that? Those fish were caught 600 feet down. I have one. I don't know what it is yet, but I was jigging it when it hit. Oh, what do you know? This thing got hooked in the forehead. Right in the nose. So these at home resemble 
they actually look a lot like our long tail sea bass back in Florida, which are like super cool and rare to catch. But I'm so, I'm excited to try these. The last time I was here, we weren't able to try them. So another one in the box. Grande G. I know it's big. <laughs> Grande. That one. So this is our, this is our last spot for the day. Yep. Just so I can, last okay. Spot, last spot. This is our last spot for the day and the bottom feels like a little bit sandy but then there's also some hard bottom down there as well from what I can feel with the jig and Chad just hooked up to something that looks a little bit nicer than what we've been catching so and when I say nicer I mean a little bit bigger. Boom, oh, Chadley? Uh, is that it? That's not a kid. What do they call those? Star study grouper. Star studded. Yep, you're off. This one, that's the same one as earlier? Alberto? Yeah. Uh, yep. This one's spots it's still on, it's still on, yeah. are way more dominant than the other one we caught. Thank you for your you sacrifice. Really yep. Check him out. How cool is that? Oh, I'll take later. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. We have some. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Mmm. Passion fruit, coconut. So when you come back to the lodge after all day of fishing, you have a refreshing beverage they give for you. Yesterday was coconut water out of the coconut. Today's a smoothie, and you get a cool rag to cool off your neck. So, first class. So our appetizer this evening is some ceviche. I'm not sure what fish this is. What white fish did we catch? I'm trying to think. Oh, it's probably AP. It's African pompano, that's what it's looking like. Let's see. I think it's the African pompano. Mmm, that is so good. That's some good ceviche. It's almost like, it's Peruvian. Let us know how you like ceviche. Alright. Do you eat a lot of ceviche in Michigan? Not too much. <laughs> Just make some walleye ceviche. I mean, you probably could. That would be a little funky. Is it good, Preston? Very good. Yeah. Alright, Michigan boy number two. Good. Bueno? It's bueno. <laughs> All right, for dinner, um, once they start cooking the pargo nylon, I'm gonna go in the kitchen and film a little bit of that. And we're gonna try that fish, which I'm super excited because last year I did not get to try those fish. So super excited to see how they taste. All right, so right here, they have all the fish de-gutted, de-gilled, and de-scaled and scored. That way, any type of seasoning can get inside the fish and it can cook evenly. And that is one hot, pan of grease right there. <laughs> it's Salvi. Salvi. Hola. Hola, this is Salvi. And she is cooking our dinner as well with the rest of the crew here at the Darien Lodge in Fish Columbia in Colombia.
You guys, we have a lot of food to eat. Holy smokes. Look at that. You're happy about this. You <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Aaron over here, Aaron over here. I don't know if I should look at the light or the camera. He's been eating all of our leftovers, so we're cleaning <laughs> plates out here. But you guys, we have Edward back and Nico. <laughs> They've been fishing with the, uh, the Mag Bay crew, which hold up over here, hold on. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Three years later, you guys remember videos from Magdalena Bay, Mexico? This is What's Toby on, guys? with Mag Bay Lures <laughs> and the Mag Bay Lodge down there in Mexico. It's such a small world, the fishing community. So that's super cool. I've been catching up with him since we've been here and we are about to grub into this beautiful, beautiful snapper dish here. Oh, it's fried, fried. I don't want to let this go to me. Wait, did anyone get the golden, the tile fish? Wait, you? Mm, no, the tile fish is snapper. bigger than that. Mm -hmm. That might be the tile. There's a tile fish in here somewhere. Oh, it's all snapper. Like it. it looks like, that looks like the tile fish right there. Hey, it all worked out. Yeah, you, you caught the tile fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's let's get in here real quick. Dang, the, the fish is actually cooked to perfection. <laughs> Yo, Toby's been giggling over there for like two hours. What's your, did you guys lick some toads? <laughs> we did lick a couple of toads over there. Hello. <laughs> Check out this video. So last night, so those cane toads that are really poisonous in Florida, they're native here in Colombia, and they're they're hopping all over the place out there. So we were joking about toads last night, but. This fish is delicious. There's like a citrusy sauce on it too. Mm. What do you guys think of the fish? Very good. Good? Good. That was really good. You guys, we're gonna eat dinner. Tonight, we're gonna go fishing for a few hours after dinner. Super excited to see if we can't pull up a Cubera. We've been throwing poppers all day for them. Unfortunately, we haven't had any bites for Cubera. Yesterday, a couple came up and tried to eat the popper, but no luck. So we're gonna drop down some chunk bait and see if we can't get them. But all right, now this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.